So today, I today I'm doing my hair. I was gonna do it already, so I thought that maybe some people might enjoy it. Maybe it could be therapeutic to watch. Um, this is my natural hair. I just let it air dry last, no, yesterday when I washed my hair. So I'm gonna go through and just curl it and kind of do like a beachy wave. That's kind of what I always do. Um, so it's kind of my every day. And then I kind of just do it once and then I don't touch my hair for like four days or so until I wash my hair the next time. I shower in between, don't worry. But I have way too much hair, as you guys can see. And it has a mind of its own. So I gotta tame it. I gotta do something to it. And I'm just gonna show you guys what I usually do. I start with two hair ties. And I section my hair off. And then I have two sections. Now, because my hair is so coarse, I have to use heat spray, which I've been using this one. I kind of just randomly will go to Ulta or um, Sephora and I'll just see a product that looks enticing and then I'll try it out. We have an Ulta here in Reading, so I got this one at Ulta. And I think it protects, feels good. So because my hair is so coarse, I start with the straightener and try to get some of the like curl out. I was out to lunch with my mom earlier <clears throat> and she was saying that I didn't seem happy but she did say that I was trying and she could see progress so maybe I can turn today around anyways then I get this curling iron. It's Harry Josh. I think I got it on Derm Store. Derm Store is the best. Curl away from the face. I pull on it. Why? Because I saw it in a video for this curling iron when I got it. I saw, I want to say, Harry Josh himself doing a preview of it, and that's what he did to get like beachy waves. So now I do it. This was the first curling iron that I got that was like this, so I had to learn how to use it. So now I'm getting better. <clears throat> so after I get done with that part, I just brush them all out with my comb. And I have this body spray, beach spray, body shake, kind of like a texturizer. And I just fucking go wild. Not wild, but I'm done with that one. Hope this 
helps people with your... I don't know when you would grow your hair. You don't really know how. And now I'm on to a different layer. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go through it with the straight one. I'm not like leaving it on for a long period of time. And I, you can see kind of the steam that's from the protective spray. I also forgot to say that for the pieces in the front, I curl them the other direction. And I don't really know why I do that. I just think it shapes around my face more. But I pull them still. Okay, so I'm done with the bottom layers. I'm gonna put some of this after party in my hair, which is with a frizz. And we're gonna move on to the little baby layer. And I just brush it all out. I put some more of this on there. Hope that this helped somebody, and thanks for watching.
So I just, I decided that I, well, I've been kind of struggling, um, just trying to figure out like what I should be doing and what jobs are right for me. Um, like, I just don't know where I professionally belong right now. And I thought it would be kind of a good exercise to ask the people that are closest to me. So my parents, my friends, my best friends, um, the people that know me most, what type of, Walter, what type of career or job they could see me doing and being happy doing and something that I can excel at. And I just kind of pose the question and let them kind of explain um, why they think those things. And I think it's kind of, it's just a good exercise to do to connect with myself in a different way and to, yeah, just get another perspective from the people that know me best and the people that want the best for me. And I just thought it would be kind of fun to see all the differences in what pe how people see me, maybe how I see myself. Um, I think I have three people this week that I have reported their answers. I have my best friend, my best friends, Ian, Alex, and Zach, and people, I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll be able to enlist a couple more people, um, like my parents and a couple of other people, just to kind of have fun with it. And I hope maybe this finds its way to other people, and maybe there are jobs or other things that you guys um see for me or other opportunities that seem like they would fit with me i'm open to those ideas too so comment um reach out to me that would be awesome and yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you on the next video Is it? yeah it's like golden hour that's uh, fucking right though. Holy shit. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Should I prompt you with the question? I mean, you can. Okay, Ian. What do you think my dream job is? What is a good career option for me? Career choice. You what know, could you see me doing? I think like personal style consultant, and I don't just mean like clothes wise, although definitely that too, because you have like impeccable taste. I mean, when I think even about how your house is decorated, like you have the ability to uh, keep in mind like very specific aesthetics. Um, I think that you would excel in working with like in a, a sort of one-on-one -on -one capacity Maybe with like rich people, I don't know, but like Ooh. Helping, helping them being like discovering the things they like and discovering what feels like to them their authentic personalities, you know, and being like, okay, well, you know, why don't we try like dressing you this way? Like, why, why don't we try, you know, this particular theme in your house or whatever? And like having them being like, oh, fuck, you're like helping me, you know, reveal or understand a side of myself that, like, I haven't seen before. Like, I think working in that kind of capacity, you would do so well at. I like that. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know. You could be, um... It's okay. A tortoise farmer? That's what I would excel in. You work in a little sanctuary on like an island. To be more present. You tend to the tortoises, the tortai. Feed them lettuce and stuff. Do you think that would be a good thing for me to be present? Grounded.
solve the deal. There's no other skills you think that would be useful um, in my life. Um, I'm a music producer. Ooh. You can work one on one with someone, which I think you'd be good at. You wouldn't have to be a large crowd. <laughs> and you could use your musical talents without actually having to use them. That's a good thing. I like that. Um, you could be a. A blogger. Oh. You could. You know a lot about pop culture. Okay. You pick something, pick a little niche, and write all about it. Blogger. You could be. Uh, I mean, obviously, it would be the fashion thing, but sustainable fashion. Something in that area, but that's just too obvious. I don't understand. Oh, it is obvious. Okay. You could be uh, a stay-at-home mom. That would be fun. <laughs> I'd get a lot of cleaning done, right? Oh. You just gotta find you a boo thing, too? Boo thing. Because <laughs> I won't. <laughs> you could be a... Uh... What is... um. What is Gwyneth Paltrow now? She's not a, an actress anymore. She's a. She's a goop. She's a like a lifestyle guru. Oh, what so I could be Gwyneth. Is Gwyneth? You could be a, a product tester. <gasps> oh, that's a test. Don't be don't be professional. That's true. Let's see. Lifestyle expert. Oh, I kind of like that. That's kind of, I feel like Ian was kind of saying the same thing, so. Mm -hmm. It's all encompassing. A lifestyle. You're going to get your shit together. You're going to start other people. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Ain't that the goddamn truth? I'm trying to think of, I was going to come to me with a. Uh, you could be um, a travel blogger. Okay. Because oh. you go taste different foods. Dude, if I could. If I could just travel and make money, that would be a dream. See, I like the dream. You could be a basket weaver. You'd probably make really shitty baskets. You think? I think I'd make good baskets. I don't know. Just money. I sound like a man. No, you don't. You All right. be a candle maker. I could make candles. I don't know how good, I might be good with scents, you know, like, finding scents. Like fragrances, like perfume. That's tough. Fragrance, yeah. Is that a word? No. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, I think that working with some type of startup, sustainable fashion company, where you get to pick the sources and the types of material that you have to use. Oh, I like that. Very spot on. Work with a small group. Small collaboration. Uh, kind of thing. In charge of, you know, the developing marketing. I like that. Get it off the ground. And then you have little articles. I like yeah. that. Okay. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. You're the best. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that it would be cool if we were styling for like, artists or singing artists or something like that. I think it would be cool if we were doing styling for TV or movies or set design for that. Um, but I think in general that whatever you do, uh, you're going to want to do something that's creative, but no matter with music or fashion, I think that those are the things you're most passionate about. Thank you.